Well, I don't know if the storm has come and gone. I, uh, we were never uh, that negative on, on China and saw it uh, never as a hard landing risk as many uh, short sellers in the United States uh, wanted people to believe. So, uh, however, there's no question that in the uh, second half of the year, the Chinese economy is uh, picking up momentum. and. Uh, I think the, uh, the gratifying thing for uh, the uh, Chinese policymakers is that this momentum is largely driven by domestic demand. And I think that's what China wants, that's what China needs, and it's going in the right direction. Well, it, it's difficult to say. I, I, you know, have sort of given up on, on, on trying to predict what the uh, FOMC is going to do in the United States. Uh, they've been so inconsistent in their uh, policy making and communications uh, that it's very, very difficult uh, to make, uh, you know, real sense out of it. Uh, but, you know, mind you, the GDP was not very good, uh, except for inventories and uh, net exports, which were driven up by lower imports. Uh, there was nothing uh, to write home about. As far as the job figures are concerned, yes, we had uh, more jobs than expected, but we had fewer aggregate working hours, which means that the economy is not actually picking up steam. And uh, under those circumstances, we expect the full year GDP to be at 2%, which is well below the uh, Fed's expectations of 2.3%. So, uh, yeah, they may taper in, in, in January. Uh, they may do it in March. Uh, I think mid-2014 is too late. Uh, our prediction is at the moment uh, for March. Yeah, I mean, if you uh, look at it right now, they are buying uh, 85 billion in uh, bonds uh, of various kinds per month. Uh, if we start uh, reducing that by 10 or 15 uh, billion uh, per month over a uh, certain period of time, uh, I don't think it's going to make uh, that much of an impact. I think the fear and concern of it uh, beforehand is much larger than what will actually happen in terms of the uh, withdrawal of liquidity. Uh, the risk is uh, to emerging markets because uh, the uh, money will first be pulled out uh, from emerging markets as we already saw in the May, June, July period. And uh, I think this is something that uh, investors uh, whether it's in India or in uh, China or elsewhere around the uh, Asian region, uh, other than Japan, of course, uh, have to be uh, very, very careful about. Uh, no, I do not believe so. I think uh, the equities uh, will tend to move with the uh, uh, fixed income instruments. And uh, I think there are any number of reasons why uh, fixed income, why bonds will remain volatile. Uh, there are many reasons why currencies will probably remain volatile. So uh, uh, the, 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 the policy-driven uh, markets uh, are always going to be uh, very, very jittery. If we were driven by earnings, if we were driven by fundamentals, yes, we could have uh, more stability. But as long as markets are driven by uh, policy events, I think there's going to be uh, continued volatility in markets.